smash the yam with a knife. I didn't expect that it is after a very it nutritious came out and delicious pot. food, especially in this dry autumn. Make this yam custard. Smooth taste, nutritious and delicious. Whether for breakfast or meal, they are all very good. Next, follow the video to watch. How do you do it? First, we prepare a fresh yam. Peel off the outer skin with a peeler. If it is a friend who is afraid it is of better allergies, to wear a glove. The skinned yam washes it clean. Then smash it to pieces with the back of a knife. Change it to a knife again. Cut into smaller granules. A little grainy. It tastes better too. After all are cut, put it in a large bowl first and set aside. Next, prepare a tomato. Put a cruciferous knife on top of it. Then put it in a large, deeper bowl. Then pour 101 degree boiling water into it. Let's scald the tomatoes with boiling water. This way, you can tear off the skin of the tomato. And then we are going to chop up a little bit of the greens. I use cabbage. You can also use cabbage. Or rape and spinach will do. After cutting, put it in a bowl for later use. Next, prepare a small piece of Six ginger. slices first, and we cut them into thicker filaments. After cutting, put it in a bowl for later use. Prepare a handful of scallions. Cut into long sections. After cutting, put it in a small bowl for later use. After the tomatoes are scalded, and then we peel off the tomatoes. Because tomato skins don't boil, putting it in the dish not only affects the taste, it also affects the appearance. After tearing the skin, cut it in half. Then remove its hard core with a knife. Then cut the tomatoes into thinner slices first. Change the knife and cut the tomatoes into small cubes. After cutting, put it in a bowl for later use. Next, prepare a small bowl. Break into serious hand eggs. Use chopsticks to fully stir it up. When we were beating eggs, pick it up with chopsticks. Eggs beaten like this, it will be more fluffy and soft. After mixing, put it aside for later Next, use. Next, add an appropriate amount of cooking oil to the pot. After the oil is hot, pour the tomatoes down and fry until fragrant. We are going to turn on a fire and fry the tomatoes out of the juice, because tomato juice is a natural sour. Putting it in the soup will be sour and appetizing. Let's add a little salt. This makes it easier for tomatoes to send out. Fry the juice out of the tomatoes. After frying, pour a little more boiling water into it. Be sure to use boiling water here. This way, the soup will be more delicious. Cook the tomatoes a little longer. Boil the taste inside into the soup. At this time, you can put the yam just cut. Pour it into a basin. Then mix it well with a shovel. Stir up the yams that are stuck together. Let it heat evenly. Dear friends, you can see the video here. If you think my video, if it helps you, please extend your rich hand and give me a like. Your every message and forwarding is what keeps me going. Thank you for your continued support and encouragement. 
After it boils, we add a little more shredded ginger. Boil it with the aroma of ginger. When the soup inside becomes thick, we then fill the scrambled egg liquid into a filling. Drizzle it in the pan. In this way, it is poured into the pot it in a thin line. It will make the egg flour more beautiful. After it all falls, continue to stir it well with a spoon. Take a look at the current egg drop. It has solidified. It looks so silky. Keep it on high heat and bring it to a boil. Next, we will add add a spoonful of chicken and essence. some pepper to remove the fishy smell and increase then the flavor. Continue to stir well with the spoon. Let the seasoning melt. And then we add the chopped cabbage. The chopped scallions are also added. Then push it with a spoon. Release the aroma of the green onion. It's so delicious. And delicious yam egg drop soup is ready. Next, you can take it out of the pot and put it in a big bowl. In the future, when you buy yams home, don't just know how to fry them and, and eat, eat them. them. Make a yam custard like this. Nutritious, sour, refreshing appetizer. Whether it's for breakfast or as a staple, they're all very good. If you also like, just collect it and try it. You won't be disappointed. Well, today's video will be shared here. Like my video. Remember to like and follow the message and forward it. See you in the next video. Thank you for your support.